welcome to Moggy Boxcraft. I'm Deborah, and welcome back to Life on Lockdown. So today I'm going to be painting this bench. So before lockdown kicked in, I actually went and panic bought paint. Everyone else went to the supermarket to panic buy pasta, but here I am, a lot of paint. So let's use it. These are the colours I'm going to use today. I'm also going to need some Tupperware tubs, some old rags, some stirring sticks, a couple of paint brushes, another stirring stick. Here's the colours I'm going to be using. Just give all your paint a really good stir before you use it. My plan is basically just to do a gradient effect down the bench. I don't know if that's a very good description, but that's what I'm going to do. First colour I'm going to use is this lovely pink colour. So I've roughly painted the top quarter of the bench. Next up is the white. Pop the white into a different container because I don't want cross contamination into my pot of paint. So I'm going to brush this up into the pink and I kind of want it that sort of unblended ombre sort of look. I'm just going to blend that a bit more using my paintbrush. So I'm going to carry on, get back to you when the white's done. I have just gone round and blended, using both paintbrushes, different colours, blended everything in as I'm going, even the sides and the back of the bench. So that's how we're looking so far. Going to move on to the lime green colour now. Oh, I really hope this covers. I'm going to go round and paint everywhere I think I want the lime green colour to be, and then we're going to go back and blend the lime and the white together. I suspect this could take a few coats. So the lime colour has been painted on. Obviously it's not blended yet, but it will be soon. The lime colour isn't covering up the pink as well as I doped. So while that's drying, I'm going to have to do a second coat. I'm going to go ahead and use the last colour, the sort of peacock colour on the legs. And I think this might need a second coat too. Oh wow, that's covering pretty good actually. Okay, so it might just be the lime colour that needs two coats. We'll see how we get on. My green paint is nearly dry. Got some white and I've got the green. I'm going to show you how I've been blending. So just keep blending until you're totally happy with the blend. So just bear in mind, this isn't a fast process. You might have to go over this quite a few times before you get the colours and the blend that you really want to. Every now and again, just give your brush a wipe. Keep working on your bench and keep blending. So I've finished blending the white and the lime green. I'm now going to blend the lime green in with the peacock blue or green. It's probably more a green, isn't it? Let's blend these two together. Here is the finished bench. It 
So here's my finished bench. It was quite good fun doing it. One thing I would say is try and get paints of the same family, I guess. The white I had was like a proper gloss white that needed like white spirits to clean the brushes. The rest I think were washed out with water. So of course the white looks really shiny compared to the rest of it, even though they were all gloss paints. Apart from that, really enjoyed that. <laughs> I hope you find it useful. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a wee like, leave a comment and let me know what you think. And let me know if you're going to attempt to do any ombre painting this summer on your furniture. Subscribing is optional, but it is very much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye! I keep hearing my wind, like my neighbour's windows opening. <laughs> I sure they must be like. Like my neighbours can kind of see into my garden. I must be like, what is she doing? I didn't even notice. Do you guys, if you film things, do you feel a bit awkward if you're filming outside? <laughs> I mean, vlogging outdoors is one thing, but you think vlogging in your garden wouldn't be so bad. But actually, when you've got neighbours that can kind of see into your garden, <laughs> it's a bit weird. Anyway, I um, hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>